This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing here. Calling functions. On what lines is the update screen function called? Okay, so we need to pay attention to the lingo here. Called. Bloop. Now, update screen. First, what does it do? Notice this is my method, update screen. This is the declaration, the first line stating the name of it and things. Um, it would have the parameters, uh, it could have the return type, except not for standard JavaScript. Regardless, that's the declaration. The definition is this chunk of it, right? Where we're saying to the computer, hey, we have a method. Everything inside of our method is this. And that means we are giving a name to this block of code. So anytime we want to run this code inside of it, all we have to do is say or call update screen. So up here, we're calling it. We're saying, hey, computer, we want to run the code and update screen. And it says, what is that? And it's going to start hunting for the definition. Smack. Oh, they mean run this code. And it will. It's going to run all the code within here. It hits the bottom and it goes right back up to this line and keeps running the code below. Okay. So we are looking for a function call. Notice the function's also called here, right? This is one of the handy things about creating functions. Every time you say the function's name, the code is going to run. So on what line is the update screen function called? Ooh, this is tricky because it's called on line six. We're calling it, we're asking it to run on line 12. We're calling it or asking it to run on line 19. Six, 12 and 19. Now, of course, you want a sentence explaining that. So this is my quick, not complete sentences in my words. Functions on 6, 12, and 19, those are the calls. And then calling a function is simply asking the code contained within the function to run. So, pa, da. Cool? Onward.